surveying a property that he wanted to buy over by Deerwood. His compass was acting erratically, so he figured he was standing on something other than dirt. He started drilling holes. He was finding iron ore. He went to the railroads for funding, and that's how the industry started here. When it was established as a range, they needed a name for it. Up north, they had Mosabi, Vermilion, and all of those. It was Mrs. Adams who suggested Kai for Kyler, Una for the St. Bernard Dog. They say that where he went, the dog went, and people would say, this is Kain and his territory, Kain and his track, and that's how it started. mine was 200 and some feet underground. On the 5th of February 1924, they were working under a small lake, Foley Pond. And just a few minutes before the end of the shift, the lake bed caved in. Within 12 to 50 minutes, the entire mine complex was full of water and mud. 41 miners were drowned. There were seven who barely got out. Some of them had to run the length of four football fields to get to the only ladder. By law, there should have been two. Later, when they rebuilt the mine, they did sink two more shafts. They operated until 1932. It was rich in manganese ore, and they needed that for the making of steel. The, some of them had, well, the last one up the ladder, 15 feet from the top, had mud to his waist. The youngest one in the crew was Fred Harton Jr. He was 14 years old. By law, he should have been 16. He had a hold of the man's collar and was pulling him out of the mud. At the same time, he had his head between the legs of the gentleman above him and was pushing him up the ladder because he had said he was exhausted, his legs wouldn't work. They got out. Uh, Fred Harden Sr. did not make it out. He died in the mine. Wolford was one of the men who died in the mine. He was known as the healer. It was said that he could put his hands on you and heal whatever ailments. And you can take this for story value, but one of the stories that came out of that tragedy was that when they recovered his body, it was deteriorated beyond recognition, except that his hands were wiped. of a real space capsule, which is in Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. This one was built for the 50th anniversary of a flight that was launched out of the Porcelain Mine Pit in Crosby, just outside of town on Highway 6. 
1957, the Air Force was experimenting with the effect of high altitude on the human body. Could man survive for 24 hours at extreme altitudes, extreme temperatures, extreme mental conditions? Dr. David Simons was an Air Force physician and test pilot. He volunteered for this particular project. In his words, he said he didn't want anybody else to get hurt. This was new territory. They didn't know what to expect. It was Winston Corporation of Minneapolis who built the real capsule. The helium balloon that you see in the photo up above. They put Dr. Simons in the capsule in Minneapolis with all of his equipment, pressurized spacesuit, put him on a flat rack truck, brought him up to the Portsmouth mine pit. They launched him from the 424 foot level so that the balloon would be fully inflated before it left the rim of the pit. Uh, they did it that way because it, surface winds would have destroyed it. It was so delicate, um, no thicker than your eyelash. That's why they chose that. He sat in the castle for a total of 44 hours. He was airborne for 32 hours. He reached an altitude of 101,516 feet. It was 19 miles. The chair shows where the wind currents took him from the launch. He came down in the farmer's grain field on the border of North and South Dakota, a place called Elm Lake. Chaser planes were with him all the time. They knew where he was all the time. And when he landed, a helicopter came in and picked him up. This was the start of our space program. The, there was one after this, and then the government stopped funding the Air Force's experiments in space, and that's when NASA was formed. This was man high two. There was a one and a three. They are still using all of the information that they got from these three flights in our space program.